oil and seasoning. There's nothing better. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> we got a Nashville hot chicken. We're gonna put that on top of a waffle. I've transferred my chickens to my buttermilk and hot sauce brine. We've let this soak in our brine for a good amount of time to soak up all that moisture. We want to make a dredge for this. And we're gonna do something similar to what we did for our chicken wings, which is flour, salt, pepper. We got a little bit of cayenne, and I want to reserve some of this for the end when we toss our chicken. But I'm gonna take that cayenne, a little bit of that paprika, and season our flour with those to give it that flavor and that unctuousness. <laughs> unctuousness. All right, garlic powder, boom. And a little bit of that brown sugar, that sweet stuff, powder. Whisk that up. That's good. Put this to the side. I'm going to use the tenders for this specific piece because they're nice and juicy. All right, so I'm gonna take this same method as before and shake that excess off. We're gonna go right into our oil. There you go, baby. Boom. And we're gonna get ready for our waffle batter. So for this, we want to get all of our dry ingredients and we'll use a sifter. So we've got our flour, we've got our cornstarch, we have our sugar. We got a little bit of nutmeg, right? We got a little bit of cinnamon, baking powder, which is a must, or you're gonna have the flat waffles. Let me take this chicken out real quick. This chicken's done. Make sure you let it rest. We're gonna put this on here, and we're just gonna let this rest for a little bit. So I like to mix my wet and my dry ingredients separately. So I'll start with one egg. Boom. We got a little bit of that vanilla. We got regular milk, and we got buttermilk. Right there. And all you're gonna do is mix these all together. Damn. It's that real Madagascar, straight from the motherland. There we go. Whip that up. I'm gonna take that butter, put that in. And oil. But don't you fret, because they, they both serve a purpose. They're gonna give us a nice texture, they're gonna make it nice and fluffy, but then that butter is gonna add some flavor to that waffle as well. Don't overmix it, do not overmix it, and that is it. Even though it's a little lumpy, we are good. Get started on our waffle, and you just wanna spray the top and the bottom of this. A perfect size waffle, I would say is like a third of a cup of batter. I'll just put everything in the center. You pop this down and then you flip it over. But you don't wanna open the waffle iron until you don't see any more steam because then you know that the waffle is perfectly cooked. While that is cooking, and we're going to get started on our Nashville hot sauce. And we're gonna take some of that oil, not too much. And we have our cayenne pepper, which is gonna be that heat. We'll dump that in. And we have our smoked paprika. I'm gonna get all that. I never waste smoked paprika. That's the best ingredient in my kitchen. I love it. So this right here is basically an amped up buffalo wing. And anybody in Buffalo, I don't want you to kill me, but this is just another version of a buffalo wing. Not on wings though, it's just like, it's like a thigh or tender in my case. But this is, this is basically like a, a buffalo wing. There we go, baby. Oil and seasoning. There's nothing better. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> That's me. That's me making fun of Buffalo and Nashville. Nashville, like, yeah, all right. I'm trying to talk dirty to these things. 
we're gonna put these in our sauce, right? You see that? And our waffle is ready. There's no more steam. And look how sexy that thing is. And we are going to place, we're going to place our beautiful Nashville hot chicken. Look how pretty that is. All right. Look at that. And now, we finna go around the edge. Oh yeah, daddy like. I just wanna show you how pretty it is. All right, let's eat it. I'll dig into that chicken, and then I'll get some of that waffle. Right, there we go. See that waffle is nice and light. That chicken is all the way cooked through, nice and spicy. Yeah, mmm, freaking.